The following is a presentation of the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. We are here at the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky, getting set for a fun day of college basketball as we welcome you inside. I told you it'd be a fun day. See, they're smiling here. <laughs> as we get set for this conference matchup between Florida State and the Louisville Cardinal. And hello to everybody, Justin Kutcher alongside Bobby Cremins. And coach, there is no top 25 matchup in the country today, but this game, it has the feel of a top 25 matchup. Absolutely, Justin. You know, they've already played each other once, so they know each other very well. I expect both teams to come out swinging. <laughs> Well, let's hope there's no actual swing in this game. But I tell you what, when you look at Florida State, they've got a guard in Terrence Mann who can flat out score the ball despite the fact he doesn't shoot the ball that well. He had 25 big ones in their first meeting. Coach Hamilton calls this guy a stat stuffer, which means he does all the intangibles. His mom is the head women's basketball coach at the University of Rhode Island, so his basketball IQ is yeah. sky high. Speaking of Q, you say the guy, Quentin Snyder, who they call Q for Louisville, is the leader. They go as he goes. Why? Absolutely. Well, number one, he's a senior. He has lots of experience. I think he's a great tempo guard. He can really push it and he can run the half-court offense. But I guarantee you, when they need a basket, the ball will be in Q's hands. Well, the first time these two teams met, it was a big first-half lead for the Seminoles. But in the second half, the Cardinals came storming back, and they stole the game in Tallahassee. What do we have in store in today in the rematch? We'll find out when we come back. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Food Lion. Raising standards without raising prices. How refreshing. By New York Life. With the right guidance, everyone can be good at life. By Coyote Tractor. And by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Back here at the KFC Yum Center. All set for some basketball. And time now for the starting lineups brought to you by Food Line for the Florida State Seminoles. Phil Colfer has led the way in scoring the last two games for the Seminoles. But we talked about Terrence Mann. He is the team's leading scorer. Brian Angola, they'd like to see him get going again after just two points at Wake on Wednesday. And for Louisville, how about the scoring of Deng Adele has been in double figures all but one game this year for the Louisville Cardinals. Louisville is in white. Florida State is in black. What a small forward matchup between Adele and um, Angola. Two young men who are foreign-born foreign players, and uh, they have been outstanding for their teams. Jumping center will be Chris Kumaji. And it is controlled here by Louisville. It was Kumaji against Spalding. And here is the point guard, Quentin Snyder. Hand off for Deng Adele. King picked up by Angola. Shot clock down to eight. Adele lost it into the hands of King along the baseline. The baseline jumper is good. The extra dribble gave him that shot closer to the basket. Good start for him. Terrence Mann. Angola, good ball fake. Mann. Look like he hit the shot blocks. Kumanji gets it blocked out of bounds from behind. The big, the big guy's gonna get some rebounds today and some blocks. Malik Williams blocked it from behind. Kumanji is seven feet, four inches tall. That's when you wanna actually remember that you just blocked that shot. Kofer has it blocked again. And again, it's Malik Williams, the 6'11", 215 pound freshman. Snyder, kick out to the corner. Snyder leaves it back. VJ King for three. Good start for the Cardinals. Great penetration by Q. Great kick. That's what he does. Very unselfish. And King's off to a great start. 5 0 Louisville on top. All five points from VJ King. He averages 9.3 points per game. Kumaji posting up. Kumaji this time draws the foul. Williams looked like maybe he had a block. Instead, he gets called for the foul. 
Well, here's the big block to start with, and that's what he does great. And here you see, what's the passing? What's the kick out? Beautiful. Love unselfish players. That's what you call team basketball. This guy's a great story. You know, he, he's, he was injured earlier. He missed uh, somewhere around 11 games, and now he's, he's back healthy, and he's really developing. And uh, he's not the tallest player in the country. That, that <laughs> honor belongs to Taco Falls for Central Florida. Unfortunately, Taco uh, is injured and not playing right now. So, obviously, uh, this guy is the tallest active player right now. But to see this young man develop and to see his skills, it's incredible to watch. Makes both free throws. The first two points of the game for Florida State. And this is a guy you mentioned, he missed 11 games. Didn't have really practice time, so he had to get back in shape in games. <laughs> Not he's, easy to do. He's learned to run the floor. Good defense here, Angola gets the offhand. Angola to the hoop, can't finish, and out of bounds. Malik Williams was falling out trying to corral that rebound, and it will be Florida State ball. Yeah, Angola got the, there you see the turnover. He got, in the, got his hand in the passing lane. Thought he got fouled here, right there. He thinks so too, but Florida State basketball. Angola draws the foul against Quentin Snyder. Well, the interim manager, the interim coach, for this Louisville team is David Padgett, just 32 years old. And I don't know if we can speak highly enough of the job that he has done here with the Cardinals. All right, he's one of my top four ACC coaches of the year right now. He's you see the jump shot to my CJ. And that's a good start for him because he did not play well in the first meeting. But we'll get back to David Padgett throughout the game. I, I, well, I can tell you, Justin, he has kept this team together. Dang a tell. All the way to the hoop for the finish. He's a natural scorer. 7-4, Louisville lead, early going. Deflected ball out of bounds will stay Florida State. How about our Carolina Ford keys to the game? Well, for Florida State, for Florida State, you know, Lennon Hamilton told me yesterday, and excuse me, today, that they can play with anybody for 30 minutes, but they have those droughts for 10 minutes. And in practice yesterday, Coach Padgett said, Bobby, number one, transition, we gotta get back. He yelled several times in practice, get back, get back. Angola extends that right arm, can't finish, Spalding with the rebound. Here comes Adele. Adele with that left hand, good spin dribble. Hanging, trying to find Spalding, comes out to King. Into the corner, Williams for three. Short, and that goes over the backboard, will be Florida State ball. Williams, he can shoot that three. A 27% three-point shooter on the season. Pretty soon we'll see Mahmoud coming in for uh, Malik Williams. Replace one shot blocker with another. <laughs> Walker pulls up, that's a two. His second field goal, it's a one-point game. He's very capable of, of really exploding at times, and right now he's off to a great start. King had the first five points for Louisville. Snyder gets fouled, and that's going to be a two-shot foul on the way up. So Snyder will head to the free throw line. The foul is called against Trent Forrest. That's his first. Leonard Hamilton, and now his 16th year as the head coach at Florida State, the winningest coach in Florida State history. 298 wins in the ACC, eighth most in ACC history. He has a certain style. He likes to play nine, ten players. Mm -hmm. He likes to wear people down. When the people get injured, he's got people come right off the bench. And his style has been very effective. And I, you know, watching practice, I think they have great chemistry. Aiki Obiagu has checked in for the first time, replacing Kumaji. Obiagu. A seven foot, 240 pound freshman. <laughs> they keep getting taller. Gopher nearly traveled. They have to get it above, cross midcourt, and they don't. A 10 second violation caused by the defense here of Louisville. 
Well, we, everybody knows Louisville, one of their keys to their defense is pressure defense. Started with Rick Pitino, and David Padgett has continued it. And they get turnovers off of it. You can even go back to the days of Denny Crum as the head coach, the 2-2-1 two -two Louisville Press. That's true. I was hoping to see Coach Crum before the game. I hope he's here today. David Padgett, just the third coach since 1971 here at Louisville. That's remarkable. That is. Underneath, Williams, good position, able to finish. Beautiful high-low. Eleven six, Louisville on top. The three by Angola. And that's a good sign for Florida State if Angola can get going offensively. He was just one of eight from the floor at Wake Forest on Wednesday. Yeah. I, I expected these seeds to come out swinging. That's exactly what's going on right now. We have a heck of a basketball game going on here. This time, too high of a pass from Spalding looking for Malik Williams. But a good start to this one, as you just said. 11-9, a little high-low game. Spalding going down low for Williams, able to finish, and then Louisville leads by two. Our innovative play is brought to you by Progressive Insurance, your first round draft pick for car insurance. Well, there we see the big guy. This is called screen and roll and space. Now, great spacing by Florida State here. And you see the big guy getting ready to roll and a, just a great pass by Terrence Mann. And a finish, CJ Young, assistant coach, he likes that play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Florida State with the ball to inbound, facing the pressure here by Louisville. Trent Forrest into the game, number three here for Florida State. And this time the Seminoles able to handle the pressure. And they did so by getting the ball to the right guy. Walker has it blocked, third block of the game for Malik Williams. Adele for three. Got it. Louisville basketball. Great defense leads to transition offense, and here comes the press. The team averages seven blocks per game, second in the nation behind Michigan State. They already have three, all of them, courtesy of Malik Williams. Angola. The crowd wanted to travel. Extra pass. Kofer for three. Long, and the rebound is pulled down by V.J. King. Good look, that's what he does. King's pull-up jumper, got it. What's he, three for three? Yep. <laughs> I call that a pretty good start. Seven point lead for Louisville. They're six of seven from the floor. I'd say that's a pretty good start too. Hand off here for Walker. Shot clock at nine, and goal of a deep three. And a rebound for Spalding. That's not the shot you want on the road. Adele for three. Just the second miss of the game thus far for Louisville. Angola. Here's a dangerous trap in the corner. And a steal. Williams up ahead. King. And he gets fouled by Obiagu. I don't think Malik Williams wants to come out of the game. <laughs> Normally at this, at this juncture of the game, we see my move. But Williams is playing so well. Look, I mean, look at this. Not only does he make some steal, but he makes a great full court pass for a great assist. So he's telling Coach Padgett, let me stay in the game. But we know my mood's coming. VJ King at the free throw line. Can't hit the first. Here, Here comes come, Mahmoud. Here comes the big guy. Along with a three-point specialist, Ryan McMahon. Dick Vitale takes a lot of credit for recruiting him here. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Mann is back in, as is Kumaji. Too bad. Great, deep, great play, and they get nothing out of it. Checking in for the first time, MJ Walker, the three-point shooter here for Florida State. Shot clock at 10. Kumaji posting up against Mahmoud. Shot clock at five. 
Little jump puck over Mahmoud. There's the height and the nice skill by Kumaji. Great shot. I mean, you, you got great defense by Mahmoud there, and just, just a great offensive move by Kumaji. 16-11, Louisville leading. Spalding, jump hook over Terrence Mann, and the rebound. Here comes Florida State. MJ Walker. Little backdoor cut. Loose ball on the floor. It's Spalding. Up ahead, here's McMahon. Nice pass. Snyder for three. In and out. And Kumaji with the rebound. He needs to knock that down. Great pass by McMahon. Forrest hanging. Doesn't get the roll. Out of bounds. And it will be Louisville basketball. You gotta be careful about challenging those big guys. I mean, there's some extra height on this court. Some big time athletes, not only are they tall, but they know how to block shots. And when you're a guard, you, you gotta be careful about going too deep. Spalton handoff for Adele, who just checked back in. Snyder for three, short. And the rebound for Walker. I like the shot. I like. I want. I want to see Q be aggressive. I think you just like saying Q. <laughs> Man, Kumaji keeps keeps it alive. Adele able to save it. McMahon up ahead for Snyder. And Snyder, no whistle. A good job, Walker, able to get out of the way. Out of control right there. Really surprised me. Forced alley oop for Kumaji, broken up by Spalding. Good defense there by Ray Spalding. Adele one on two. Saved here by Spalding, or not saved. MJ Walker going at Spalding and brings it right to him where he was there for the block. Fourth block of the half for the Louisville Cardinals. Most of the blocks have been done courtesy of Malik Williams. He's got three, the team's got four, and they lead by five. There's Ron King, a member of the 1972 national runner-up Florida State Seminoles. There's that team from 1972. There's Coach U Durham. He left Florida State to go to Georgia. I think but I like Ron's hair there better. <laughs> that was a great year for them to go to the final uh, four. I think Ron might have liked his hair better back yeah. then, too. I actually played against Florida State one year, but uh, I miss Ron. Well, he played at Central High School here in Louisville, a Louisville native, and he is here cheering on the Florida State Seminoles. Forced kick back, Angola for three. That's his second three of the game and makes it a two-point game. Nice basketball, nice ball movement, nice passing. And we talked about Angola. That's what he does so well. He can shoot that three. Had a big game at Duke like that. A steal here, Walker, no. Walker steps on the sideline trying to get that steal. But how about this lineup right now for Louisville? They're going big, and I mean big, with Mahmoud and Malik Williams in there. Yeah, that's what um, you know. That's what they'll do, and then, of course, Spalding will come back in the game. They alternate those three. The reason they don't start Mahmoud is because he gets in foul trouble sometimes. Here comes Angola off the turnover, challenging Mahmoud, and he loses that challenge. Lennon wants goaltender. He had a better chance getting a foul call. <laughs> Darius Perry picks up the dribble. Here's Williams. Mahmoud gets hit in the face by Kevin Gelly. The undo Kevin Gelly. Matching up against Mahmoud, shot clock at seven. Perry for three, hits him. He can do that. He can come off the bench and give him the lift. He did that against Wake Forest. And Goa doesn't challenge this time. A pull-up jumper is good for MJ Walker. He's the outst outstanding freshman McDonald's All-American from Georgia. Beautiful pull-up. He's a scorer. And he was smart, he didn't drive, he pulled up. Perry has it knocked away, it's off his leg, out of bounds, will be Florida State ball. 
Lots of talent in, uh, with these two teams. Lots of talent. A little sloppy at times, but this is what I expected. These two teams are really going after each other. This is a big game for Louisville. They're going to play three home games in six days. However, that's a great opportunity if they can protect their home court. Terrence Mann, good cut, good find by Angola, who came to that jump stop. Beautiful pass. Beautiful movement without the basketball. Florida State's come to play. One point game, nine and a half to go here in the first half. McMahon being hounded by Forrest. McMahon a bit out of control, loses it. Here comes MJ Walker. Walker flying to the hoop. And we're going to have an offensive foul. Darius Perry stood his ground. Let's see if we can see a replay on this one. Let's see if he was outside the off. This young man, now I'm telling you, yep, good call, excellent call. He had, he had position. This young man, he's only a freshman, and this is the thing uh, a freshman need to learn. A situation like that, pull up. But he's a powerful, powerful player. And you really, you really can't blame him going so going to the hole there. He had football offers to play <laughs> at Clemson, Miami, and Michigan. Those heard, are no slouches. Yeah, I heard a lot about him. Georgia Tech was looking at him hard. Adele picks up the dribble, and now Adele is going to get fouled. And this is going to be a foul against MJ Walker. And that's going to be his second. Just picked up the offensive foul and now picks up this foul. And that's the fourth team foul against Florida State. Spalding is back in, as is VJ King, here for the Cardinals. Adele thought about a deep three, passed that up. Now gets his man up in the air, draws a foul. This will go against Kevin Gelly. And two free throws coming up for Deng Adele. Yeah, poor defense by Kevin Gelly. Uh, of course, Kevin uh, is the nephew of uh, Ditembo Matumbo, a uh, great player for the Hawks. And uh, that time, he, you know, he just was out of control defensively. He had, he had, um, uh, right, he had them right where he wanted them. No way to go. And you got to give Adele a lot of credit for being able to draw that foul, draw his body into him. Adele, a 77.5% free throw shooter. Dwayne Sutton checks in for the first time. Malik Williams goes to the bench. Chris Kamaji checks back in. Kevin Gelly goes to the bench for the Seminoles. Yeah, Sutton's you know, right here from Louisville. He's a spark plug. He's a tough defender. Came here as a walk-on. And a rebound by Angola. A walk-on after transferring from UNC Asheville. And now this is going to be an over-the-back foul against Kumaji. See, even, even though he, he took it to the hole there, even though that shot wasn't blocked, Justin, the shot was altered. And that's why these, these small guards, they, they've got to realize that it's going to be tough for them to get to the rim today. Adele, a little hesitation. He gets fouled. And that foul will be against C.J. Walker. Around the ACC, brought to you by Excedrin. NC State defeating Notre Dame. The upset of the day, St. John's taking down Duke at Madison Square Garden. That was a big one. A lot of free throws there. Of course, later we've got uh, Virginia playing, and, uh, but big upset there by St. John's. Um, Chris Mullen, uh, a great player here yet tonight. This should be a good one. Let's see if, um, let's see if um, those two little guards, Jerome and uh, Guy, can make some shots against that Syracuse zone. Four-point lead for the Cardinals. They set up their press. Walker. See, that time he got smart. Yep. He pulled out. He also knows he's got two fouls. Doesn't want to go too strong to the hoop. Out of control to pick up that third. And a foul away from the ball. This will go against Dwayne Sutton. And this will be the fifth team foul against Louisville. Tallest player I ever played against was Lou Elsinger. And just to see the Kamaji out there, the size of him. <laughs> the, um, you know, what a force he is defensively. If he could just keep running the court and get under that basket, 
Give it to him. Give it to the big guy. Angola, good job coming to the jump stop. He gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for two. This foul will be called against Ray Spaulding. You That's said it, jump stop. You see the draw, and then what you, you call a jump shot, beautiful, a head fake, and just a lot of determination, a lot of determination. And if he misses it, he got the 7 4 guy right there to tip it in. So let me ask you this when you faced Luol Cinder, did you try to challenge him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. I, I spotted him from the foul line. I would not go below the foul line. And I was not a good shooter, so I was in trouble. Did he still block your shots? Oh, he was something. Something. Same, same, he, he went to Powell Memorial in yep. New York. I went to Old Hollows Catholic High School League. But these guys today, I mean, there's so many players throughout the country who are above seven feet. Two point game, under eight to play in this first half. Adele pulls up for three. Off the mark, there's Kumaji with the rebound. Good luck. Chance here for Florida State to take a lead with a three. He was under control. In the corner, Walker for three in the lead, no. And the rebound going up high was Sutton. Snyder pushing it. Angola trying to poke it away from behind. Adele for three. Got it. That's his shot. Great spot up shoot across. Uh, Q made the play. Q almost was out of control. Very, you know, very smartly he stopped and kicked it out for open three. 11 points for Deng Adele here in the first half. Five point lead now for Louisville. They're trying to get it inside. Louisville doing a great deal. There it is. Let's see if he can do something with it. Gumaji kicking it to the corner. Walker on the baseline. Man out of bounds. Off of Louisville will be Florida State ball. Five point game here at the Yum Center in Louisville. The Cardinals lead the Seminoles. Here with 6.55 to go. You are watching the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. And our coverage of ACC basketball is being broadcast on AFN, the American Forces Network. We welcome the nearly one million men and women of the U.S. Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines stationed around the globe in 175 countries and on the high seas. We are so proud to have you with us and hope you're enjoying this broadcast. Five-point game. Six on the shot clock. Angola was able to draw iron, but the rebound pulled down by V.J. King. Snyder thought about pulling up for three. Spalding to the hoop, has it blocked by Kumaji. <laughs> Nobody's getting to the rim, period. Terrence Mann trying to get there. He's got it, and the foul. Well, that's because Spalding was the last guy to come down the court. <laughs> For the previous play, Spalding gets a head fake. He beats him, but what's the recovery by the big guy? Long arms. And then you see here, the, look at this. Beautiful. Just absolutely concentration. One thing about Terrence, he's a big point guard. He's got size. He's got toughness. You mentioned earlier, he's not the greatest shooter in the world. But he knows how to score. He knows how to get to the rim. And like that case right there, he knows how to finish. And he converts the three-point play. He'll go to the bench now. Phil Kofer comes in. Those are the first three points of the game for Terrence Mann. I beg your pardon. He now has five points. He had two earlier. So he's got five points. Phil Kofer is scoreless as he checks back in. That last foul on Dwayne Sutton, that was his second. Both teams really playing hard. King. Try to skip the pass to the corner. Instead, it's intercepted and now able to draw the foul as Walker against Mahmoud. I'm not sure what Mahmoud fouled there. It must be somebody underneath. I don't have to tell you, Justin. Let's see, let's see what we got here. We never throw the ball across court. Yeah, he got a little piece of the body. Little well, body, he did. But that play was, you know, offensively, you cannot make that cross court pass. Two shots here for C.J. Walker. C.J. Walker, an Indianapolis native, has 26 friends and family <laughs> here at the game. He should be a better free throw shooter. I expect point guards to be really good free throw shooters. 
He shoots it at almost 75%. One of two there. Not bad. I agree with you, though. If you're a point guard, <laughs> you want to have the ball in your hand late, yep, you yep. want to shoot it at 80% or so, right? That's right. Mark Price. Well, I mean, that's <laughs> nobody better. <laughs> that's setting the bar pretty high. Adele for three. No. Amaji with the rebound. A little handoff for Walker. A chance here for the Seminoles to take the lead. Forrest with the left. No, had it altered by Mahmoud. Adele. Coast to coast, he can't finish. Angola to Forrest, Walker, a little bit out of control, able to get it back. Let's see if Florida State will settle things down. They will. Yeah, Coker's been quiet. Forrest goes baseline, hanging. Net shot was altered. They said Mahmoud went straight up. He did, definitely, great defense. Adele left open for three. 14 points here in the first half for Dang Adele. That's what he does best. He's a, he's a great spot-up shooter, and he has tremendous confidence in his game. We talked about that matchup between Angola and, and Adele. Those two guys are going to be, they might be the key to this game. Timeout called here by Florida State. 28-24. A couple of opportunities for Florida State to take the lead. They can't do it. Then Adele left open for three. Yeah, beautiful swing into the ball. Beautiful pass there by the big guy. And, you know, if he has a spot of three, he's going to take it. When he gets in trouble, Justin, sometimes he puts it on the floor and gets out of control. So, love the way he's playing right now. Heck of a, a, heck of a ball game by both teams. We see David Padgett here, and we talked about him being the interim head coach. How about the fact that he was hired on September 29th? He had to assemble his coaching staff. And these are the guys that he hired. Trent Johnson, he hires him. Trent Johnson has the experience as the head coach. No question about it. Of course, you know, Trent was at LSU, he's at Stanford, then of course he's at TCU. Uh, Trent's a good friend, a, a great coach. And the guy next to him who played point guard at Duke, uh, Greg Paulus, uh, great quarterback. And he was a uh, last year assistant at Ohio State on the Thad Mata. So I, I like those hires. Great experience. Older guy and the younger guy. Four point lead for Louisville. Under five to go here in the first half. Gopher has it knocked out of bounds. Nine on the shot clock. Whoever shoots the three ball the best, I think, is going to win the game right now. Because whoever gets near the rim, their, their shots are just going to get blocked or altered. Angola for three. He hits it. That's his third three of the first half. What a shot. But he was under control. Angola's got 11 now in the first half for Florida State. One point game going high, low. Spalding nearly got stripped low. Instead, it'll be a foul. And this will go against Angola, who just hit the big three. Well, he squares up. And he's a natural scorer, natural three-point. That's a bomb. And that's what Florida State needed. Outstanding player. Plays with a lot of emotion. And Mr. Spolin's got to get in the gym and start working on his free throw shooting. Honestly, there is a big gust of wind that just came through. <laughs> I like, I like Ray's game. He's strong. He's a local player right here from Louisville. Trinity High School. See, the door was closed for that one. Two-point lead for the Cardinals. Here comes that pressure. Walker against Snyder. Well done. Angola attacking the hoop. Doesn't finish, but there for the follow is forced. Again, Mahmoud, they just say he goes straight up. Tim Nestor was right there, put the arms up. What a challenge I, by Mahmoud. I agree. Great, great hustle there for, by Forrest, a little guy to stay with the play. Boy, Angola's playing some defense. He's all over King. Snyder, shot clock at 10. Seven seconds, little hesitation. Five seconds, Snyder kick back. King with two on the shot clock, no. And the rebound in the hands of Walker. And Golden was fortunate there. Bounce pass, Kofor for the dunk and the lead. 
And a timeout taken here by Louisville. Coach Padgett talked about that transition defense. After some good defense, Kofer in transition gives Florida State the first lead, 31-29. Well, Florida State has its first lead of the game, a two-point lead, 31-29. They trailed by as many as seven, and Brian Angola has 11 points in his first half. All three of his field goals have come from beyond the arc. He's three of nine from the floor, but three of five from three-point land. He can really shoot it. The senior from South America plays with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of emotion. Love the way he plays. Snyder picked up by Forrest. Q's been a little quiet too. Here is Q with the ball. Good. Mahmoud, shot clock down to nine. Good D by Seminoles. Good entry pass there by Snyder, able to find Spalding, and Spalding using the glass beautifully. Yeah, beautiful angle pass. The big guy needs to stay low, but he had to come out. And Q found it. And now an illegal screen set by Kofer. See, so watch Kamaji come out, and you know, when you do that to Snyder, he's going to burn you. He has such a high IQ. And that's what you want to do. You want to set ball screens on the tall guys. Make them get away from the basket. Make them have to move their feet. Louis Louisville has the size advantage. You know, they, with, with uh, Mahmoud and Spalding in there, Florida State's more four out one in. <laughs> the alley -oop for Spalding. How, how about those two assists? Louisville back on top by two. Kofer fading away. And the rebound for Adele. McMahon, good pump fake. Mahmoud, a little bit out of control. And the rebound here for Forrest. Walker pushing it to the hoop. Has it partially deflected, but the rebound there by Forrest. That's the second rebound that little guard has got. Great hustle by Trent Forrest. Staying with it. Forrest averages almost five rebounds per game. Spalding challenging Kumanji, and he gets fouled. Here we see, watch this. We call this little lob pass for the alley -oop. But again, Quinn Snyder, he does it all. He knows where his players are on the court. And if he see Kamaji come, comes at him, he's just going to throw that ball up by the rim where his, t his teammate, the big guy, just finishes it. Spalding knocks down the free throw. Coming up on the Hardy Halftime Report, we'll preview the Battle of the Blues. Duke and North Carolina, round one coming up next Thursday. All that plus highlights and stats on the Hardy's Halftime Report. One of two at the line, a one-point game. Louisville on top. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Justin Kutcher alongside Bobby Kremens here from the KFC Yum Center in Louisville. Captain Gelling. Angola doesn't use the screen. Walker shot clock at seven against Mahmoud. Takes the three over him and knocks it down. A lot of switching. When you have switching, you're going to have mismatches. And that time, the mismatch favored Florida State. The little guy against the big guy, but it was outside, and the little guy won. Eight points for Walker. Alley for Mahmoud from Adele. Angola foul on the floor against McMahon. But it's a great ACC game. <laughs> this is really something. Here we go. Look at these alley-oops. Great, great basketball, but this, this game has the feel of a ACC tournament semifinal. These are two NCAA teams. Really outstanding basketball, and we're only in the first half. 101 here, Angola, an 85% free throw shooter. That was a 17 foul against Louisville. And Angola misses. The rebound for Spalding. Tied up at 36. Oh, 
Schneider. Pull up jumper from 17. Got it. Beautiful. Beautiful head fake. Beautiful pull up mid range jumper. He can pass, he can score, he can do it all. What a game. They come to their feet here at the Young Center. Shot clock at 10, Angola down low for Kevin Gelly. Passing back for Kofor, hits another three. Kevin Gelly, beautiful kick out. We have a shootout here, Justin. One point lead for the Seminoles. About a five second difference, shot clock to game clock. Alley oop for Spalding, can't throw it down, was a little bit too far away from the rim. And now the Seminoles can hold for the final shot. I thought they were gonna hold for the final shot. Big possession here by the Seminoles. They trail by as many as seven in this half. Here comes the high ball screen. There's the switch. Angola step back for three. No, the follow too strong by Kevin Gelly. But the Seminoles here in Louisville, the home of Muhammad Ali, a heavyweight battle. <laughs> Good way to put it. Outstanding punches. Outstanding first half. 39-38, Florida State leading here at the half. When we come back, we'll have the Hardy's halftime report. That was fun here from the KFC Yum Center. ACC basketball is being brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. By Hardy. By Progressive Insurance. And by Mellow Mushroom, out of this world pizza. ACC basketball is being brought to you by Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. By Gatorade, win from within. By your Carolina Ford dealers. And by Bojangles, it's bow time. Daryl Griffith, Dr. Duncan Stein, here at Louisville. Look at this, David Padgett. He was wearing a tie in the first half, not wearing a tie <laughs> here in the second half. <laughs> Coach, you ever do that? No, I always get my tie on. <laughs> Angola, no, the tip by Kumaji, no. And Dang Adele with the rebound. I'm guessing the halftime speech got a bit animated. Oh, I bet so. And that, that shot again, it wasn't blocked, but it was altered. It's hard to get to the rim. You have to pull up and shoot it. Snyder nearly lost it, and a traveling violation called here against VJ King. A look at the stats from the first half. The leading scorers, Angola and Deng Adele. Louisville shot 50% yeah. from the floor. Yeah, well played game. Well played. Um, this is a really exciting first half. A lot of blocks. And now, let's see. What team's going to go zone first, you think? Hmm. Sooner or later, somebody's going to have to play a little zone. Will foul trouble come into play? Right now, both teams are pretty good with fouls. Kofer fading away, shoots an air ball. Wasn't squared up. But Kofer's been a key first half. Nearly a steal by Angola, reading the eyes of Snyder. Snyder falling away, no. Snyder, loose ball, we're gonna have a foul, and this foul, I think, is gonna go against C.J. Walker, it will. And that's the second against Walker. This is no game for little guys. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard for these little guys. They gotta be shooting these bombs. Man, there's some bodies, big bodies in this game. Spalding at 6'10". Malik Williams, 6'11". Kamaji, 7-4. <laughs> Deng Adele looks small, and he's 6-7. Snyder, skip past the corner. VJ King for three, off the back of the rim. Kofer with the rebound. Good look, good setup by Snyder. Kofer attacking the hoop, able to put it in off the glass over Malik Williams. What I love about that shot, Justin, he got it high on the board. What a move by Kofer. Seminoles, they want this one. Snyder draws the foul. 
And this foul will go against Brian Angola. I just have a sense the Seminoles, you know, re they remember that first game where they let that one get away from them. And uh, they're, they're hungry. Of course, they got to go home and play uh, Virginia on Thursday night. We talked about Louisville. Uh, Monday, they have Syracuse coming in here, and um, I believe Thursday, Georgia Tech. So this is a, a big game in the, in the big picture of things. But both these teams are outstanding ACC teams. Nobody's going to catch Virginia. Pitt at North Carolina. You talked about that first meeting January 10th. It was a 45-32 lead at the half for Florida State. But Louisville outscored Florida State 41-24 in the second half to win that one, 73-69. They dug in defensively. Kamaji's asking for it. Posting up against Spalding. Good defense by Spalding. Great defense. He made him take a tough shot. He's pushing him out. Pushing him out from that paint. Adele. And this is out of bounds off of Florida State. The refs are allowing these guys to play right now. Hey, see, now watch him push him out. Push him, hold his ground, and make him take a tough turnaround. Of course, uh, um, Kamaji, he wants to get closer to that basket. There's a physical game right going on right here. A chance here for Louisville to take the lead. Snyder. Shot clock down to three. Adele has to put up the three. An air ball and a shot clock violation. Great defense. Coach Hamilton very happy about that defensive possession. Padgett not happy. He's taking the tie off. Is the coat next? He's fired up. He knows the importance of holding serve at home. What a battle. Louisville's lost two of their last three. Coming off the loss at Virginia. Man using that body against the shot blocker, Williams. Spalding tips it. Nice and a king has it blocked. And there's the dunk by Spalding. <laughs> oh, boy, we got some basketball. What about Mahan getting to the basket, finishing it at the rim, which is so difficult to do this game. Now, now watch this play here. Great block. Loose ball. Spalding picks it up. But how about Spalding with the alertness to tip yep. it back and then stays with the play yep. and gets the dunk in the foul. Yeah. Let's see if he can make the free throw. He does. That foul was against Angola. That was his third. He goes to the bench coming in as Walker and we're tied up at 43. Crowd really appreciating the effort of both teams. I think they like the effort of their Cardinals more. <laughs> Go for alley-oop to Kamaji. How about that? Who's got the most alley-oops in this game? <laughs> what a play by Kofer. Looked like a point guard on that pass. That silences the crowd for the time being. Adele. Snyder on the baseline. Williams will take the three and make the three. He can make that shot, and he's not afraid to take it. Usually big guys can't shoot like that, but he can. A lead for Louisville. Look at Kofa handle that basketball. He doesn't want to right now. He wants to get rid of it. Walker, high off the glass, puts it in in front of all of his friends and family. He left 26 tickets for this game. And again, he put it high off the glass, which makes it more difficult to block. Williams gets fouled and puts it in. He'll go to the free throw line, trying to convert the three-point play. They were exchanging blows at the end of the first half. They're exchanging blows to open up the second half. Williams with a big three here. And Williams, the foul and the finish there. 
You are watching the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. The New York Life ACC Tournament returns to New York March 6th through 10th. The ACC is giving you a chance to win a VIP trip for two, including tickets, hotel accommodations, and a travel voucher. Visit theacc.com slash VIP for your chance to win. Winner will be selected February 15th. Malik Williams at the line trying to convert the three-point play and give Louisville the two-point lead. And what happened that time, again, the switching. Louisville recognized the mismatch and got the ball inside where Williams had the advantage. What's this? Ray Spaulding just gets called for the foul, trying to reach in and steal the rebound away from Kumaji. That's the second foul against Spaulding and the first team foul against Louisville. The way, the way Williams is playing right now, uh, I don't think David Padgett's concerned about Spaulding's foul situation. Um, I believe Kofer just moved his feet along the baseline, <laughs> and he couldn't. No, you can't. Not after a violation. That could have been called wow. for a travel. There's a mismatch. It's Kofer going to take him. Kofer able to finish. Looked like he was falling, a little off balance, and he went right at Malik Williams. Yeah, he just feels he could take the bigger guy to the basket. If, if, he, if they switch outside, he's going to go to the hole. Spaulding waiting for Adele, sets the screen for him. Adele, good pump fake, off the back of the rim, Kofa with a rebound. And a travel oh, violation oh, here against Forrest. When he turned, he saw Adele right there. And now Malik Williams will go to the bench. And Anas Mahmoud yeah. checks back in. Usually, usually that could be a block, but he gained space. See the space? Now, if he was right up on him, that would be a, 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 a foul on the defense. But there was plenty of space. And, and what Forrest needed to do there was catch and look. He just ran right over him. This one's coming our way. Mahmoud with a save. King, the pull-up jumper, way off the mark. There's Spalding with the offensive rebound and put back. Love jump hook going to his right. What a what an offensive rebound and what an offensive move by Spaulding. Walker leaves it off for Man. Kofer in the corner for three. And the rebound for King. Louisville looking to run. See, he's under control. That's why I call him a great tempo guard. Puts up the floater. No. Spaulding the offensive rebound. Just ripped it away from Kofer. Coach Hamilton's not happy about that. No timeout. But Spaulding right now getting very, very physical with the Seminoles. 13 points for Spaulding. Eight rebounds. Walker gets hit. Fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. Excellent attack by pressure. Excellent. See Spaulding now going second offensive rebound just all over the offensive glass. But Florida State did a nice job of attacking Louisville's pressure there. They got the ball to the middle. And this guy right here going to the free throw line for a couple. MJ Walker to the line. He's fearless. It's that football background. Brian Angola is coming in with those three fouls. Spaulding nearing a double-double, 13 points, 8 rebounds. Ryan McMahon has checked back in, the three-point shooter for Louisville. Walker knocks them both down. Kamaji goes to the bench, checking back in. Aiki Opiagu. He's on the all-name team. Some big-time big athletes in this game. Really fun to watch. One-point lead for Louisville. This is their little pre-offensive weave before they get into their sits. Snyder keeps the dribble alive. McMahon goes into Angola. That's the fourth on Angola. What a fake by McMahon. And Angola's got to be more heads up than that. Yeah, he does. You're right. It's unfortunate. Coach Hamilton's going to have to take him out of the game. He's been outstanding. He just went over to his teammates. He knows he's coming out. And he says, guys, hang in there. But you're right. You know, McMahon, he, 
high basketball IQ, great shooter, and this should be automatic. 11 for 13 at the free throw line this year, now 12 of 14. Let's see, I'm waiting for the yeah. sub. The sub's not coming, here it comes. It's gonna be C.J. Walker coming back in. And guess what, C.J. Walker, he's got three fouls. Gonna be a factor, no question about it. So 13-33, Angola goes to the bench with four. He'll learn from this. You know, this. You know, later on it could be an NCAA game, and somebody's going to throw that head fake at him again, and that time, next time, he needs to just somehow stay on his feet and just avoid fouling. It was automatic for McMahon, knocks down all three. Florida State has handled the pressure very well. Get the ball to the middle, and something good happens. Is this a zone? It is, a first zone. The home team goes first with the zone. Man along the baseline. Shot clock down to seven. Shot clock at two. Forrest draws iron. And a foul against Mahmoud. Obiagu will go to the free throw line. It's number three against Anas Mahmoud. How about Lou Forrest? How about Trent Forrest? I mean, he just, he, he's gutty. Look at him, going right against Spalding, which is not a wise thing to do, but great hustle. Obiago. So How about that free throw? When you look at him, right, Ike Obiagu, Ike. seven foot, 240 pound freshman. freshman. They say he's raw. Now, he had a lot more playing time prior to the injury or prior to the return of Kumaji. Right. But you can tell by his free throw form how raw he is. <laughs> no, you're right. You know, when Kumaji went down, he stepped up. Well, push off by Spaulding. What number is that on Spaulding? Was it, it was a three second violation. Three second. Well, that's better. Yeah, that's a lot better for Louisville. Even though Coach Padgett's not happy about it. Because Coach Padgett was a big man saying, how many times has three seconds been called in college basketball in the last 10 years? <laughs> Obiagu couldn't get the offensive rebound. Here comes Snyder. Leaves it off for McMahon. Adele step back for three short. Here's Walker. Up ahead. Man against Mahmoud. He doesn't finish. Offensive rebound by Forrest. Walker nearly loses it. And now a turnover and a foul by Walker. And that's the fourth on Walker. Sloppy basketball. First of all, I did not like the Dell shot. Then we see the drive. And, and I'll tell you, this little guy, he's just rebounding like he's 6'10". Boy, the crowd is really into it. They, they thought it was a foul. No foul, or was it? So it's the sixth yes. team foul. Yeah, it was. Okay, so the next foul, and Louisville shooting free throws the remainder of the game. We still have 12 minutes to yeah. go, and you've got the two leading scorers with four fouls. And a big rebound by Obiagu. Q, Q has that shot anytime he wants it. That was not a bad look. They're going to stay in the zone. Florida State looking for the shooters, and goal is on the bench. But I tell you one thing. Trent Forrest has done an incredible job rebounding the basketball. Man draws a foul against Adele, and that will lead us to a break. Three-point game, Louisville leading 11.37 to go here at the KFC Yum Center. <laughs> Ray Spaulding averages 11.2 points per game and 9.2 rebounds per game, and today he's close to a double-double again. He's a double-double, man. Love that jump hook. Love the offensive rebound. And look at the strength, the follow-up. This young man is playing some great basketball. The junior right here from local Louisville. He's got 13 and 8, but for Leonard Hamilton, his two leading scorers today, Brian Angola and C.J. Walker, both with four fouls. Walker's got 10 points. Angola's got 11. Angola's back on the floor with those four fouls. 
because you got to wonder where is the offense going to come from without Angola and Walker in this game. Shot clock down to five. Forrest, shot clock at two. Man has to put it up. And the rebound by Adele. I wasn't sure what defense Louisville was in there, Justin, but we'll watch it next time. Whatever it was, it worked. It worked. Mahmoud, he's got three fouls for Louisville. Spalding, short, and the rebound there for Trent Forrest on the air ball. You'd think it's a good shot, but the result was not good. I think it was the jinx by us. <laughs> We do a package for him, and then he shoots an air ball. All right, let's see what defense this is. This is a foul away from the ball, an offensive foul. And that's going against Chris Kumaji. That is the 17th foul against Florida State. Free throws the remainder of this game for Louisville. That could be a huge factor. No question. Too many fouls. Here's that weave again. Let's see who they're going to try and set up. I think they got to try and go to Spalding. That, that he has a mismatch. They tried to get the ball to Mahmoud, and it's a turnover. Not a great angle by McMahon. A little impatient. To get, the, to get the, the, the shot you want, you've got to move the basketball around. MJ Walker. He can score. He can shoot it, too. All right, let's see. It looks like a 3-2. Now, now it looks like a... Okay, I'll figure it out here in a minute. Along the baseline, a turnover. MJ Walker turns it over. Dang Adele wants it. Attacking the hoop. Tries to throw it down and misses. Here comes Mann. A three on two for the Seminoles. Mann, he puts it in. One point game. Boy, Adele almost jammed it down, but he missed it. And it gave an easy basket transi transition basketball for the Seminoles. Spalding has the height advantage. Little jump hook is short. He's being played by Terrence Mann. Spalding is down at midcourt. Kumaji leaves it off for Forrest. He gets fouled. And it looks like some cramping for Spalding. I can look and see his calf right now. Hey, here you see um, Adele, wide open, going for the kill, and just misses it. And then all of a sudden, fast break. Good basketball here, and of course, Terrence, a great finisher at the rim. So that, that was a big exchange, plenty of time. But what an exchange that was. And who's shoot, the big guy shooting free throws? It's going to be Trent Forrest oh. shooting the free throws. Yeah. I like Spalding one out. Coming in for him, Malik Williams. This guy's played a heck of a basketball game. I tell you, every player on both teams has given everything they have today. Everything. Forrest misses yeah. the free throw. Yeah, he's not a great free throw shooter. But he has a lot of heart. I think he's going to knock this one down. A 67% free throw shooter on the season is Trent Forrest. You were right. Tie game. He's a winner. And by the way, Angola is back in the game. A steal here by Forrest. They wave the basket off. The foul is on the floor by Ryan McMahon. Just full court defensive pressure. I think Ryan just got stripped. Just got stripped. Lennon's not happy about the play. But there's our man again, Trent Forrest. He just made up for that first miss free throw. What a steal. Kofer comes back in for Angola. That's the third foul against McMahon, the team six. So next foul, and Florida State is shooting free throws the remainder of this game. And Q, Q's getting the rest right now. He'll be back in soon. Can Terrence Mann get going offensively? He's been quiet in this game. Good point. MJ Walker, alley-oop. Kumachi throws it down. See, what happens, just a good timeout. What happens is 
MJ sort of help coming. The second he sees that help coming, he knows his teammate's gonna be on the weak side. He's throw it up, there it is. See the move? Boom. 11th lead change of the game, and the lead belongs to Florida State. 57-55, Florida State leading by two, our Lending Tree fast analysis. It's been a close one, six ties, 11 lead changes. Florida State right now in a six nothing run. They trailed by as many as seven in the first half. They led by one at the end of the first half. And they've extended that lead by one. Trent Forrest has been a major difference in this game for the Seminoles. McMahon, the pull-up jumper. No, the tip is good by Mahmoud. Offensive rebound. All right, let's, let me get this defense down here. Looks like now a 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two, I think. <laughs> MJ Walker, he gets fouled by Malik Williams. Time to look at the nation's top 25, brought to you by the Honda dealers of the Carolinas. Virginia, so good. Villanova, Duke, the loss today at St. John's at Madison Square Garden. Can we see these two teams in the top 25 soon? Absolutely. How about Clemson? What a job, Brad Brunell. He's, he's in that 12th ACC Coach of the Year. I got Tony number one, uh, Brad two, Kevin Keats three, and uh, David Padgett four. Those are my top four right now. A lot of basketball left to be played. And the freshman, after a sensational drive, misses a, a tough free throw. This, this freshman has been a little bit under the radar with Bagley in the league and so forth. MJ Walker makes one of two. Florida State up by one. You mentioned Clemson. They won today over Wake Forest, 75-67. 8.15 to go here in this one. 58-57. Florida State leading. It was a 73-69 victory by Louisville in Tallahassee on January 10th. Snyder back in. Little hesitation. And he can't finish over man. He thought he got fouled. With Kamaji there, it's so difficult. Alley of for Kamaji. How about that play? Whatever defense they're in, I don't think they're going to be in next possession. Great coaching by Lennon Hamilton. A turnover. Looking for Mahmoud. Here comes Kofer. Kofer got it and the foul. Oh, Coach Padgett timeout. He's not happy with Ryan McMahon right now. Back in the first half, both teams high flying, ducking left and right, but the largest lead of the game for Florida State right now is they lead by five. Back 62-57, 7.36 to go. Florida State leading on the road at Louisville. Bill Kofer at the free throw line trying to convert a three point play. You got a feel for this guy, you know, He's been injured the last two years, and now he's put all that uh, injury aside. He goes after it. He's not scared anymore about being injured. It's great to see. Six-point lead. Look at the second-half field goals. Florida State shooting almost 53% from the floor. Louisville shooting 30% from the floor. Adele, no points in the second half. Still no points in the rebound for Kamaji. Not a bad shot, just a little bit early in the shot clock. Now, they, now they're going back straight man to man. And Forrest gets fouled on the floor, but it is free throws. The foul is against Ryan McMahon, and that's the fourth against McMahon. And remember, Ray Spaulding went to the bench, cramps in the left leg. Spaulding is back out on the floor right now. You kind of wonder how much longer David Padgett will stick with Ryan McMahon. Yeah, I tell you, the MVP of this game might be the guy in the free throw line right now. He hasn't scored a lot of points. But he is he has made some great offensive rebounds. He's just played his heart out. Trent Forrest now six points, six rebounds. Of those six rebounds, three of them have come on the offensive glass. 
He has not scored in double figures since January 7th at Miami. Has a chance to do it here in this one. Their biggest lead, you can feel it. You can look at the Seminoles. They, 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 they know they have a chance to pull this one off on the road, and what a win this would be for them. Now saying that, we are far away from this game being over. Mahmoud has it blocked by Kumaji, gets it back. Adele for three, got it! First point in the second half for Deng Adele. He needed that and Louisville needed that. What about the block by Kumaji? Here's a mismatch. Kamaji sets the screen. Kofer. Oh! How about that shot? He went up and under. Seven point lead for the Seminoles. He just wants it. Mahmoud to the hoop. He gets fouled on the floor. What's the big guy? What's Kamaji here? <laughs> and a beautiful kick out here by Mahmoud, and Adele knocks it down. Watch this, up and under. Beautiful. Little spin off the backboard. The foul is against Kamaji. One on one here for Mahmoud. Checking in, Viandu Kabangeli replacing Kumaji. Also back in, VJ King replacing Ryan McMahon. So there's the answer for Louisville. King is back in for McMahon here at 6-12. And Mahmoud is long on the free throw. Not close. Big one-on-one. -on -one. Great opportunity here for some more separation for the Seminoles. Let's see if they'll be patient. Hope, Hope is hot. MJ Walker against Mahmoud had the mismatch, now falling away, no, and the rebound for Spalding. I'd like to see that ball go inside there. Snyder's got seven assists on the game, trying to spin this one off the backboard, he gets fouled. He'll go to the free throw line for two, Cabin Gelly picks up the foul. And that is gonna be the ninth team foul against Florida State, both teams with nine team fouls. So we'll have double bonus the rest of the way. Misses the free throw. That's three points they just lost out on. Q's got to get, he's got to get aggressive. He's got to, might have to come down and shoot in the big three. Somebody's going to have to make another big three for Louisville, uh, like Adele just did a, a while back. CJ Walker. Brian Angola on the bench, both with four fouls for the Seminoles. Six point lead for Florida State. Kofa's the man. Gets the screen. He's a going. Switch. And has it blocked by Spalding. That's off his foot. That should actually be Louisville ball. I believe that was off of Kofa's foot when he was on the ground. Hard to see. Let me see. Great switch off, great block. Oh, what a move. Terrence Mann gets open on the inbounds for the dunk. Miscommunication. They thought they were switching, they didn't. Great out of bounds play by Florida State. Eight point lead for the Seminoles. Balding against Kofer. Snyder for three. Got it! What a great pass and what a sunny clutch shot. Louisville back in it. The fans are back in it. Shot clock at 10. Forrest. Kofer for three. Kofer. Unable to get the rebound. Here comes King. King. And we're going to have a blocking foul called here against MJ Walker. Wow, what an exchange. I, th I thought King should have given it up there. Give it to Q. Given you shall receive. 
What a wild exchange here. See, I, I think CCQ wow. wide open. I thought King went right into yeah. the defender. Yeah. Spalding looks, looks dazed and confused at midcourt. Can you believe these guys got to play Monday night? Oh boy. They get that trainer right on that. Nice and easy. Again, cramping in the left leg. He had to leave the game. It looks like maybe he's cramping up again, going right back to the trainer. B.J. King at the free throw line, comes up short, free throws. Could be the Achilles heel here for yeah, Louisville. I mean, no questions. Uh, again, I, I thought B.J. should have given that ball up to Q and just somehow run to the rim. Q would have had a wide open three, or he would have passed the King for a layup. 14 of 23 from the line today are the Louisville Cardinals. One and two at the line. Four point game, 417 to go, but can set up their press. Walker able to break the press. Walker attacking. He gets fouled on the floor. That'll be a two-shot foul. Double bonus. The foul goes against BJ King. I tell you, the freshman is fearless. No, I, I'm saying to myself, where is he going? <laughs> well, the end result is he's uh, he's at the free throw line. He's got that football mentality that you talked about. Yep. He's going to be all freshmen in the ACC. Gets the roll on the free throw. Ryan McMahon is coming back in. Replacing Dwayne Sutton. Also back in is Ike Opiago. Replacing Chris Kamaji. What position did he play? Do you know in football? Not Charlie Ward, did he? He's no. not Charlie Ward. I coach against Charlie Ward. Wow. Ooh. Two at the line. The rebound for Adele. Adele has it swatted by Obiagu. Run a little clock here. Did not like that move by Adele. Too early in the shot clock. Plenty of time. Just be patient. Kofer. Kofer gets fouled by Mahmoud. And that, I believe, is number five against... No, it's going to be number four against Mahmoud. A five-point game. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by GEICO, saving people money for over 75 years. By Food Lion, raising standards without raising prices. How refreshing. By your local Chevy dealers. And by Lending Tree. When banks compete, you win. A look at our Toyota game summary. For summaries of other ACC games, go to the ACC.com. Five-point lead for Florida State. Field goal percentage favors Florida State. Blocks. Louisville is one off their season average. Kofer at the free throw line. Knocks down the first. Kofer now with 15 points. He's had an outstanding game. What did what he have? Zero points in that first meeting? He didn't have many, I know that. Gets them both. He's getting redemption today. Seven point lead, three and a half to go here for the Seminoles. He had three points in the first game. VJ King. Gets fouled, he'll go to the free throw line. The foul is called against Obiagu. The fouls mounting. What's impressive about this, Florida State has made this comeback and made this run with C.J. Walker and Brian Angola on the bench with those four fouls. Those guys were Florida State's leading scorers for much of the game. Now you add 
Kumaji to that list of players with four fouls. Kumaji has come back in the game just now, replacing Obiagu. For Louisville, you've got Mahmoud with four and Ryan McMahon with four. That's what Lenny said. He's not afraid to play ten guys, and that's why. And you got to give Trent Forrest and MJ Walker a lot of credit. Here is MJ Walker, the freshman from Jonesboro, Georgia. Here we go, Justin. Coming up on three minutes to go. Can Louisville get a stop? Shot clock at 10. Forrest, shot clock at five. Off the glass, Forrest puts it in. The MVP of the game, according to Bobby Cremins. Well, I think so. I really do. I think he's changed this game away. That, that steal, and what a basket there with the shot clock going down. Still plenty of time. Need to get a good shot here and not force it. Snyder in the corner. Mahmoud against Kumaji. Little jump hook oh, puts it over the seven foot four Kumaji. Beautiful move. Kamaki was right there. The five second clock has started. They have to get it in. And that's going to be a five second violation. Raymond Steins Jr. had started his count before Kofer got over there because Florida State was late to inbound the ball. By the time Kofer got there, they were two and a half to three seconds into the five second clock. You're absolutely right. A lot of confusion after that exchange there. But the bottom line is uh, Louisville boy basketball. This could be a huge, huge turnover. Louisville will take the timeout here. You think about it. You get the bucket. Now, all of a sudden, you can have a five-point swing if you make a three here. Well, I didn't see. Somebody obviously picked up the basketball for Florida State. Because uh, the clock should not start until somebody picks up the ball. There you see the ACC stand in Virginia. Watch, this is the reason why this game is yeah. important, right? Because you've got Florida State at five and five. You've got Louisville at six and three. I mean, you got the Hokies at five and five, the Seminoles at five and five, North Carolina at five and five. Yeah. I mean, you are, are battling for position right now. It's a great league, unforgiving league. But how about Virginia? You think they go 18 to 0? No. I don't think so either, but <laughs> they are scary good. Out of the timeout. Snyder. McMahon back in the game. Here's Adele. For three. No. Forrest with the rebound. That's all right. He was under control on that shot. Great step back. He had separation. He just did not make it. He did not force that shot. Could have been that huge swing they were looking for. Time and score for the Seminoles. Man, kick out to the corner. MJ Walker goes baseline, trying to get rid of it. Turnover. King. Has it blocked? The foul is good by Adele. What a block by Kamaji. What a block. And what a follow by Adele. Here we go. What a game. Florida State still has three timeouts. They'll take one of them right now. How about Kamaji running the court, getting the block? Then he's still a bit confused, I believe, about that five seconds ball. What's the big guy? There's the deflection, there's the steal. Now watch, look at Kamaji, look at him run. Look at the effort. How about that by the big guy, seven feet four? He runs better than you'd expect for 7-4, but when he just has that reach, it's that closing speed that he's got. Justin, I'm telling you, if that young man continues his development, you're going to see him at the next level. Well, right now, Florida State's worried about this level in this game. Yeah. Leading by three with 119 to go. What do you do? Who are you looking for? Who do you get the ball to in this situation? Well, you know, I definitely like Kofer with the basketball. Now, you know, Trent Forrest has been outstanding. Terrence Mann has experience. 
Lennon has his the top players on the court. He's got one freshman in there, and goal is sitting. But I, you know, you gotta have the ball in. Number three, this guy right here, Forrest or Kofer. Kofer now with the ball, hands off to Forrest. Forrest to the hoop, off the glass, no. Kamaji with the offensive rebound, got it. He'll go to the free throw line. Wow, set play, Forrest drive. Kamaji almost got called for over the back. Here we see, puts it up really high. See, again, once, you know, the big guy comes over, that gives uh, Kamaji the advantage. His man went to help. Now what he does, his job is immediately to go to the rim, and he's got full advantage. And that foul was against Anas Mahmoud. That is his fifth, so he is fouled out with 110 to go. Now, can Kamaji, who's a 52% free throw shooter, can the big guy knock these two free throws down? He is two for two at the line on the day. Three straight games and double figures. First time in his career he's done that. Misses the first. That's all right. This is the key one. This one makes it a two possession game. I'm going to call it. I think he's going to make it. I do. This kid's a winner. Knocks it down. 75 71. What a game. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Get a good look. That would not have been a good look. No, no. King against Kumaji. No. Out of control and a foul against Malik Williams. So Forrest will go to the free throw line. And don't forget, Kamaji's got those four fouls as well. So he just played that defense with four fouls, avoiding picking up the fifth. How about this? The, you know, he alters the shot. Don't forget, this guy missed 11 games. I mean, how good would Florida State, would, if, if he was playing those 11 games, how much better would they have been? Forrest, three or four at the line. Trying to get in double figures for the first time since January 7th. And he is. They're smelling it. They sense it. It's, it's not over. Got to make free throws. Plenty of time. But Kamachi, what a game he's playing. He's sitting down at the opposite end of the basket. He just say, stays under that basket and say, come on, drive the basket. One of two at the line. Snyder pushing it. Williams for three, that was deflected. And it's out of bounds off of Louisville, will be Florida State ball. It looked like Adele may have gotten it when he was on the baseline. Adele is slow to get up. How about both teams going after that loose set, short shot? Look at the effort by both teams. Here, here's a deflection. Now we'll watch both teams. Look at this effort, look at this. Well, they got the, you know, they, they, can the monitor. they can review it, let's see. The call was off of Louisville, Florida State ball. Tough to see anything on that replay that will say definitively that it was off of Florida yeah. State to reverse it. Don't forget, coming up tonight, we've got more ACC action. 19th ranked Carolina Tar Heels will take on the Pitt Panthers for the ACC Network game schedule. Visit accnetwork.tv and remember that select ACC Network games are streamed live for free on the official ACC mobile app. That game coming up at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And Angola checks into the game and he gets fouled here by V.J. King. So it comes down to this. If Florida State makes their free throws, they win the game. Absolutely. They, good inbound there. This guy's going to, he's going to make these two free throws. He's been on the bench a long time. Yeah, that's true. They're in the driver's seat. They, they, let, they let Louisville off the hook one time. I don't think they're going to do it the second time. Our performance of the game is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. He deserves it. He really does. Look at those rebounds. Nine rebounds. Luke got five assists. How about that? Ten points. But it's not over yet. But 
The bus is starting to warm up. 78-71. Kamaji comes in. MJ Walker goes to the bench. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but you talk about, uh, you know, after the Wake Forest loss to be able to come back in here. And uh, I told you already, Thursday night, their next home game, they have Virginia. Snyder knocks down the three. Clutch shot. Clutch shot. 78-74. They needed some of that earlier, Justin. He's such a key player. Never gives up. Good job there in Boynton Fouls, but this is a clutch player. 13 points for Snyder, seven assists. Now they got to inbound the basketball, and as you just alluded to, they have to make free throws. They only made one last time. C.J. Walker goes to the scores table to check in for the Seminoles. Now, Florida State has not won here since 1989. Now, granted, they haven't played a whole lot recently. However, the last time that Florida State won here, both teams were part of the Metro Conference. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, this, this, is, this would be something. They're, you know, they're excited. They're in the driving seat. But we've watched so many college basketball games this year. And it's just never over until it's over. And we'll see if, you know, if they can inbound left. Now, they inbounded it nicely last time. Got it to um, Angola. And he got to the free throw line. So, you know, Leonard Hamilton wants a good inbound to here. So let's see who's going to take the ball out of bounds. He's also put his free throw shooters in the game. And I guess who's taking the ball out of bounds? The little guy, our MVP, Trent Forrest. Forrest in there with Angola, C.J. Walker, M.J. Walker, and Kofer. And Kofer gets to the ball, has it poked away, and a turnover here, caused by Louisville. 32 seconds, plenty of time. He threw it to the short corner, and that's where you, the short corner is the most vulnerable. You have a you see the short corner, not even a trap, just went off of him. McMahon in the game. Kumaji comes in, Terrence Mann comes back in. Adele, McMahon, Snyder, Williams on the floor. McMahon in the corner. Snyder. To the hoop. Over Kamaji, two-point game, 24.7 seconds. Florida State has two timeouts remaining. Louisville's got none. And now Florida State will call one of their two timeouts. Wow. Wow, that was great. How about Q? He gets trapped. He drives. Beautiful jump hook layup over the big guy. Watch it. There's a trap. Watch the jump hook. Beautiful. And if, if you block that, if you block that, it could be goaltending. 15 points now for Quentin Snyder. Louisville will foul immediately. The key is inbound in the basketball. Do you go for a steal before committing the foul, or do you just foul? Uh, no, most, most coaches go for the foul right away. I mean, you can get a steal on inbound. You know, they just got something there. You, you, know, you could afford maybe a few seconds, maybe five, seven in this case, but I got a feeling they're going to make Florida State two free throws. Florida State 21 of 29 at the line on the day. And you can run the baseline here after the made bucket. Yes, you can. And this time, Terrence Mann's taking it out. And this time, last time, Leonard put his players in the backboard and made him come forward. This time, they're all going to be in the front court. And Jeff Clark is telling Terrence, man, you can run the baseline. Right, nobody on the basket, so that means uh, all the defense will front their man. They'll front, let him go long. They get it to Angola. Angola, able to get it to Walker. Now you want a foul, too much time has come off, 17.4. You called it, Justin, I was wrong. You, you called it, um, they, they were going for the trap and the steal. 
Now at the free throw line is Terrence Mann, a 71.8% free throw shooter. Oh boy, this is the big one. Got to concentrate here, young man. You can do it, got to concentrate. We said before, if they made their free throws, they'd win the game. They kept the door open here for Louisville. Missed them both. Louisville can tie with a two, take the lead with a three. Snyder switched off against Mann. Here's VJ King. Eight seconds to go. King to the hoop. Has it blocked? Up ahead. Here comes Walker. Walker dunks it. One second left, and that will do it. Florida State will get the win on the road. Tough possession. I thought VJ, I thought he forced it a little bit. I, I thought Q I thought Q was going to make the play. But VJ put his head down. Let's see, here we go. Put his head down. Remember, it was Mann who missed the two free throws, but he redeems himself defensively. Yeah, BJ, felt, he felt like he could take Mann to the basket and at least get fouled. Great, great basketball game. Great win for Florida State. Payback is tough. They lost to Tallahassee, but they come here and they walk out of this building with a, a W. And on the other hand, Louisville, tough turnaround. Monday night, they got to play Syracuse. The first time these teams met, it was their four-point lead, four-point win for Louisville on the road. This time, it's a four-point win for Florida State on the road. For highlights and must-see moments from this game and others, check out the ACC.com. Our next telecast on most of these ACC networks tonight, Pitt takes on number 19, North Carolina. You've been watching coverage of the ACC Basketball Network on the ACC Network, exclusive production of Raycom Sports.